In this lecture, I am going to show you how to construct a Turing machine as input-output device with a simple example. We need to design a Turing machine that inputs a binary string and produces the ones complement of that binary string. Let us consider that the binary string is this one, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And on given this input, it is going to produce its ones complement, that means 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is going to be the output. So let us consider the tape symbol initially in this way 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and it contains blanks on either side, and the tape is infinite on either side as well. So this is the initial input, initial alphabet in the tape, and we are considering the initial state as Q0, it is here. So how the transition? So sigma is actually 0, 1. And the tape symbol is also 0, 1. The states so far Q is Q0. Q contains Q. Q has only one element Q0. We may see some more states coming on. So let's start it. How to design this Turing machine? Now, the rule is that if we get a 1, we need to convert it to 0. If we get a 0, then we need to convert it to 1. And the state and the head should move on right side. So let's start. So the first thing is that if we get a 0, then it should be converted to 1 and the head should move right. If we get 1, it should be converted to 0 and we should move right. Now note that in either cases, we remain in the same state. That means if we are in Q0, we remain in Q0. We are only changing the symbol to 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. So what happens? Q0, 1. So this rule is applicable right now. So the current state is Q0 and we are getting 1 as the input symbol. So what the machine does, it is writing 0 in the cell. So this is going to be converted to 0 and it's going to move towards right. I'm using green for the elements which are converted. So it's going to move right right now. The head is going to be moved right and it comes here in Q0. Again, what we get? We get 0 here. So this rule is going to be applied. Q0 in 0, it is going to write 1 and it moves right. So it's going to do this. It's going to write 1 here and it's going to move right. So, it goes here. Now, oops, I have not changed the color. Anyway, so Q0 in 1, again, it's going to do, it's going to change uh, uh, 1 to 0 here in the same way as it did earlier. So, I'm just erasing this and converting it to 0. So, it's going to convert it to 0 and it's going to move towards right. So in this way, what it will do ultimately? Ultimately, it will convert this to 0 and this will be converted to 1 and the head is moving right and this will be converted to 0. Now, as soon as this last one is converted to 0, the state moves here after converting this zero, after converting 1 to 0 after converting this after writing to this cell the head moves here now when the head encounters a blank space we have not defined the rule so if in q0 we get a blank space that means we are done so all the elements are converted and we get the one comp once complement written in the tape so now what we need to do is to halt the machine that means it's done just stop the machine so we can define in this way so at q0 you just don't do anything that means write the same thing here and halt so this h indicates that the machine halts so here the machine halts and we get once complement written here in the table so this is how the turing machine works and we can move the head 
according to our need here we have moved the head towards right in some other cases you can move the head towards left and we will see some examples on that as well thank you let's